Have you ever think what the type of the program I'm using on my machine? Here is all the list of my programs. Some of them I'm using really often, some of them I'm using just few times, maybe once in months, maybe once a year. Anyway, this is all my programs what I need on my machine. So we will start today my top of my programs and we will start from the pure ref. The pure ref is really awesome because this is free and so useful. Pure can be above all on all of the programs, you can see it right now. So we can put inside this program all the pictures. Let's say I'll put some pictures here and you can keep it and work it in the same time. So you may say like you're using two programs in one time. Let's we will go to the Zaha Hadid and we will just copy some of these pictures. I will like this picture, just right click on this picture, uh, save it and let's uh, just paste here where you can see this result so the same picture now we have inside our pure ref let's put the other picture for example maybe this one right click and just copy it and paste and as you see this is same quality we have now inside our pure ref let's put the some few more pictures and we will see the other function of this really cool program so now we have some few of the pictures and now we can align it, arrange it, or we can just put it on the left side, on the right side, as you want. You can do whatever you want. You can make it same, same the size, or you can make some boundary around this uh, all the pictures. So uh, this is really useful when you're working, and for example, when you're drawing, you can at the same time see these pictures, and nothing will disturb you. For example, I can draw, and at the same time. I can see the my picture how it look like so you can save it you can load it after that your all collection as you can see I can load it my previous collection and you can back it at any time after cut still it's uh, number one position in my program so when I'm installing my new windows the first program what I'm gonna get so this is after cut because uh, my clients my suppliers they still sending me the files in after cut format DWG in PDF but so we cannot change it right now it's changing slower and now everything becoming to the beam but still after cut this is main program what i should have inside my pc the photoshop is most powerful thing working with the, your presentation your pictures your some i don't know pdf files everything what you want to present to your clients to your uh, lecture whatever so I'm still using the Photoshop quite uh, often uh, for my presentation tool for my work uh, and if for example even the for my YouTube channel if I want make for example the some um, icon for the my video I'm using of course the Photoshop so the Photoshop this is main thing what everyone should have and everyone should know how to use it Another product from the Adobe, so this is InDesign. So most of the people don't know how to use the InDesign. Guys, you should try. InDesign helps you to create really your boards, uh, helps you to create the books, helps to create some, for example, PDF files. So once you create uh, your nice template in uh, InDesign, after that you no need it uh, redo again you can uh, for example uh, make some changes in uh, photoshop and it will be changed directly in indesign so the indesign is really nice program to create your nice boards this is really a main thing for the uh, students and for the guy to the people who presentation uh, who want to present uh, they work for example if you want to present your work to the customer by uh, e-files i mean the electronic files like pdf or you want to print some nice thing to your client so you should know how to use the indesign because the powerpoint it's really cool but mm, the powerpoint when you're creating the uh, pdf from that it's really worse so uh try to get in design uh, try to look the some uh, pictures uh, for example on the issue and they're all making mm, all this uh, uh, design in InDesign 
Adobe Illustrator. So this is one more program from Adobe. Adobe Illustrator pretty same, looks pretty same like the Photoshop, but it's not. So the Adobe Illustrator working with the vector files. Vector files is kind of like TWG from the AfterCut or from the Revit. So this is means if you will export to the uh, Revit or to the AfterCut, you will get really nice result and you can scale it as much as you want because this is vector, this is not raster files. So. Uh, actually, uh, Adobe we, we are using, for example, to create uh, some nice graphic, as you can see right now on the screen, or we are using in some big scale projects, uh, or maybe when you um, export your DWG file, you can create some nice looks uh, exterior view, for, for example, you can create uh, um, your landscape design in Adobe, so this is possible if you want. Another one program from the Autodesk. This is 3ds Max. So when you're speaking with the people and saying about the 3D or rendering, they straight away thinking only about the 3ds Max because 3ds Max is most popular modeling program. So uh, 3ds Max really perfectly work with the Revit, really perfectly work with Autodesk because this is same company actually. But anyway, you can create all your design in 3ds Max. So if you know, if you know the 3ds Max, you know the AfterCut or for example. Uh, one more is Revit, you can create the complete design oh, with these nice renders, with the nice drawings and uh, for example you can also work with your suppliers. So 3ds Max actually I'm using for example to create some nice pictures for the, my clients and to create some nice renders for example to some competition if I am in. So 3ds Max this is must have for any architecture as I think. Uh, because uh, you don't know what you will do in the past next years. So maybe you will work with interior design, but for interior design, this is number one, because they are working only with 3ds Max or the kind of, of this program. So I prefer using 3ds Max. The SketchUp. I think this is uh, one of the most popular program uh, to creating some 3D, even for the drawings, because uh, the SketchUp can do some drawings, the SketchUp can do some, for example, uh, 3D models, but I'm using the SketchUp to create some basic models, for example, some messing to show to my client, because I don't want to spend time, I can create some uh, messing bad, uh, bad model, but uh, still it will uh, uh, enough to show the, my idea to my client. I can create some model, show to my client, done. So after that I'm just working in Revit. But anyway, the SketchUp, this is a really powerful thing and you can create everything what you want in here in SketchUp. So if you are a pro in SketchUp, you can create even so realistic model. Anyway, also you can create some messing model and you can export it from the SketchUp to the Revit. So this is really a powerful thing, you should try it, so just look it over. The Lumion, so I think uh, I know didn't introduce this program, everyone, ev every architect don't know the Lumion, what is that and for what uh, we are using the Lumion. Who those who not, don't know what is that Lumion, so Lumion it's the render engine to, um, uh, to make it uh, able for you create the fast some renders, fast and nice renders. So actually I'm using the Lumen only for creating some uh, nice pictures uh, and when I don't have enough time and when I want to create a nice animation. The most of worst thing, the Lumen, it's really expensive, it's uh, equal to all the my programs uh, together and even if I will uh, I will buy all the my programs, so what I present to you before, uh, Lumen is still most expensive one. Anyway, if you have the uh, chance, you should have the Lumen to create nice renders. So, this is also going to the my case of the my programs. So, Rhino or Rhinoceros, as you want. 
Uh, I'm using not so often as I want, but anyway, if I need some parametric things, it's only Rhino. Anyway, uh, Rhino can uh, help you to create some, uh, for example, uh, incredible facade, incredible building. Uh, even if you cannot make some messing in SketchUp, you're going to do Rhino. Rhino is really a powerful thing and it's really simple. If it first time it looks uh, really hard, you not understand anything, but after some some of the time you understanding it's not uh, it's not hard this is just different so if you have time and if you are looking on the parameterize uh, you should try the Rhino because uh, all the big companies uh, if they try and make some parametric things they working with the Rhino and Grasshopper this is a really powerful thing and you should have try Microsoft Visual Studio. So for most of you Microsoft Visual Studio is nothing and you don't need it at all. But for my case I'm using the Microsoft Visual Studio, uh, especially I'm using the C Sharp language to create some new features and new function for the Revit. For example I can create now some my own uh, um, buttons, I can create my own the scripts, just I'm using uh, this, um, uh, this studio to create it. So it's really powerful thing but uh, to that thing you should understand how the working the program language like C sharp or Python uh, doesn't matter which you are using so uh, and you should understand for what you need it so this is uh, really it's already about the programming so it's not architecture but still in my case I need it because I'm working like BM manager So this is was my list of the my programs. Uh, this is not the top of the programs. Don't worry, guys. This is just my programs what I'm using every day or maybe one times of the one month. Doesn't matter. I hope you will find this video interesting and maybe you will uh, see some new programs what I have and I'm using every day. Thank you, guys, and see you next time. And that's it from today, thank you guys for watching, don't forget to subscribe my social media, leave some comments for this video and give some like and see you next time.